This is the first and what I believe will become a series of reviews of health tools that can help you be more effective in remaining undoctored. That is, tracking health measures that keep you free of the doctor, free of the healthcare system, and yield results that are superior to what you would have obtained through the doctor and the healthcare system. Now, on the other hand, I don't want to su suggest to you that in the undoctored program that you have to buy a bunch of fancy, expensive devices. That's not true. I just want to make you aware of some of the devices that are available to you, how to use them, how to best put them to use for your health, empowering you to get better results, uh, but they're optional. Uh, maybe you pick and choose an occasional device or a smartphone app or other simple uh, tool to help you track a measure that's of interest to you, whether it's blood sugar, blood pressure, pulse wave velocity, or any number of other measures. Let's talk now about two Bluetooth-enabled blood pressure devices. You know, blood pressure devices are not new. They've been around for many years. Uh, I found them kind of clunky to use, a little awkward. Uh, some require a, a, a bulb to blow up the pressure. You do it, you, so you need two hands to do it. Some you need another person to actually listen to your pulse. So over the years, they've gotten better and better. The best so far are these Bluetooth-enabled devices. This is the Withings device. And I like this device because, as you can hear, it's, it's, it's Velcroed. And see this part here? This is self-wrapping around the arm. So I'm going to wrap this around my arm. And I don't need help to do this because it's self-wrapping. You align it so that the guts are up like this, just above the elbow. And then you wrap it like this. Turn it on. Activate your smartphone app. And when the two communicate, when this device communicates wireless, it's Bluetooth enabled, it's wireless, and you can see there's no cuff, there's no external device that comes with it, it's all in the, this single uh, piece of equipment. So start, you probably can't hear it inflating, I'm going to relax and not talk for a moment to get a good blood pressure reading, and I should have been sitting for five minutes quietly. Okay, it took about 45 seconds for the device to self-inflate and then deflate, and then it gives me a blood pressure on my phone. A little tricky to see in this light, so I have lights on in my den so you can see. But it gives you a nice blood pressure, in this case, 116 over 77. So what I like about this device is its ease of putting it on the arm, because it's self-wrapping. It's pre-shaped, and then as easy as that to put on, as easy as that to take off. And then, of course, it logs your blood pressure on your smartphone device. It will then track it, keep records compared to prior uh, measures, give you an indication of trends, and tell you if you're high, etc. So I really like this. It costs $99, which I think is it's more than some of the other devices that you find in the drugstore or the department store that require a bulb or self-inflate but come with a kind of a big uh, uh, additional um, motor. To blow up the cuff. This is all self-contained and very nice. This is the second Bluetooth-enabled blood pressure device. This is the Cardio, Q-A-R-D-I-O. Like the Withings device that I showed you previously, it likewise has no bulb to inflate the cuff. Uh, there's no additional device. This is all. This is the entire device right here with the app on your smartphone. So this supposed to be turned off because there's a magnet in here, right here, and when it's against the main unit, it turns it off. When you unwrap it, the magnet is removed and the device is supposed to turn on. Now, I can tell you before I'm recording this demonstration version, I did this about 10 times and it wouldn't turn on, so I'm hoping this time it will turn on. So I'm going to pull this tab to make the cuff open up which is not that easy. Okay, and you can see it opens a path for your arm. The cardio logo goes at the bottom. The uh, control unit goes up on the arm and once again a little above the crease of the elbow. Pull it tight and wrap it under. Pull it snug, not tight. 
Now I activate the app on the phone and once again, I'm going to do the same thing as with the Withings. Activate the device, it will self-inflate. Maybe you can hear it starting to inflate. Uh, so there's no bulb, no other device to inflate it. Start. As with the other device, the device cycled up and then cycled down, took about the same amount of time, 45 seconds, makes the same kind of low-grade hum when it's inflating and deflating, and then it transmits the blood pressure to my smartphone. A little higher this time, perhaps, because I was talking all the way up till I took the measure, but still within range, within a pretty reasonable range of the other uh, device. Well, this device, like the Withings device, Bluetooth enabled, uh, no cords, no uh, inflating cuff, and so uh, the Withings more so than the cardio device, I think may be useful in future if we ever start to tackle exercise blood pressures, like blood pressures while walking a treadmill, very, very useful uh, measure, by the way, that uncovers hidden or uh, uh, underappreciated high blood pressure. This device, a little trigger, as you saw, I struggled a little bit to get the device on, Getting it off is pretty easy. It's a matter of just unvelcroing it and then pulling it off. And then you pull the wrap back around. And then by rewrapping it, the magnet once again comes in contact with the main unit and shuts it down. Now they tell us there's supposed to be a light that turns green when it's ready to go. I have yet to see a green light. And that's why it took me about 10 tries when I first got the device. Uh, so the device is very nice. Personally, I like the Withings better. It's easier. The self-inflating cuff is a real plus. It makes it bulkier. It's bigger. See how much bigger it is? So if you're taking it in your luggage, the Withings device is, is bigger. It's bulkier. Cardio, much more compact. But it's much easier. If you're not going to use it for travel, it's much easier to use this device. You put it on first try without fail. This device you're going to have to fuss with. May even require, if you're not that good with the hands, you might even require someone else to help you put it on before you get it right. So it's not as easy to use. And um, uh, it's the same price, both $99. So there's no difference in price. If I had a choice, given the same price, I'd go with the Withings device. Though if you travel on a low-grade device that's smaller and compact, the cardio is probably your choice. Both are wonderful, but I think Withings did a better job here in engineering the cuff itself and the ease of use of the device.